As we begin reading the Chumash, we come across the first Pasuk in the Torah, and of course a very well-known Rashi, which seems to be so pertinent and so connected to what the Jewish people are going through right now, maybe now more than ever. He asks a question, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, why did the Torah have to start with the Rashis? Why didn't it start with the first mitzvah given when the Jews were in Egypt? And he answers because God wanted the entire world to know that he created the world and that the world belongs to him. And that it's up to Hashem to give the world to whoever he wants. He could give whatever piece of land he wants to whomever he wants because it is his in essence. He gave it to the nations of Canaan for a particular period of time when he felt that they should be there. And now he's taking it from them and giving it to the Jewish people. Now, this is supposed to be a reminder to the nations themselves that are going to complain. When the Jewish people entered into the land and conquered it, the nations were very upset and they complained. And we actually hear the same complaint echoing until this very day. Listimatem, you Jews, you people of Israel are bandits. You stole our land. Now, this very question is very puzzling because when you think about it, the way of the world is that the strong survive and they fight wars. And whoever conquers a land through war, certainly almost throughout entire history, was able to keep that land. And as long as they were strong enough to hold on to it, it was theirs. That is exactly the way that the nations of Canaan got their land in the first place. They conquered it in war. So now the Jews come, the nation of Israel, with Yoshua as their leader, and they conquer the land from them. So what kind of a complaint do you have? So they're not really making a complaint because we beat them in war. What they're complaining about is this. Really, ultimately, since the land does belong to God, and God apportioned the land of Israel to the Jewish people because we are supposed to be a holy people, and Israel is a holy land, that means once we came in as the nation of Israel and took over the land, it became ours forever. It didn't just become ours because we overpowered them in war, but because the land itself was fit spiritually for us. And when we possessed the land, we elevated the land from being mundane to being holy in essence, just like we have a holy neshama inside. So the land also became holy, and together the holiness of the Jewish people and the holiness of the land are one exact fit. What this essentially means is that once we took over the land, it was unconquerable after that. Even if a nation would come that would be mighty and battle us and repossess the land, they would never possess it in essence the way they did before. And that is the taina that they had. They were saying, you are like bandits. You stole the land from us. You took it away from us forever. We can't come back when we'll be stronger and repossess it because now God gave it to you intrinsically and eternally. And since they understand that, so that's what really makes them so upset. And that's what really makes them come and complain about it to us. So with this, we could appreciate and understand why this particular little tiny dot on a map is what people have been fighting for for ages. And unfortunately, we see that we're still fighting for it. But if we look deep into the lesson, we'll understand our connection to this land and our special merit to possess it comes from the idea of our neshamas and our holiness being fit for the land. So the best defense that we can have, or even the best offense that we can have to possess and control our land, our, the land of our ancestors, is to connect with Hashem and to connect with our neshama and to live the way that Hashem says to in the Torah, then the land is fitting for us and then we will certainly deserve it. Maybe merit to see speedily in our days Hashem's mercy where He will decide to give us the land back and rebuild our base of that we've been waiting for for so long.